The goal of the Nutrition Innovation Lab is to answer long-standing questions about the nature of agriculture and its relationship with health and nutrition. We were hopeful when we, when we started this that uh, given the portfolio of Nutrition Innovation Lab that we would make a contribution to the state of the art and I think we did. When we say that we're the Nutrition Innovation Lab it, it, it's an understatement because in fact we're the nutrition and agriculture and health and climate change and you know those kinds of things lab. Nutrition Innovation Lab has been looking at multi-sectoral approaches to nutrition. Yes it's agriculture, yes it's transportation, yes it's social protection, yes it's finance. And the richness of what's coming out is just amazing. The perk of working with Nutrition Innovation Lab is you get all those multidimensional issues in one place. We have to understand what are the contexts where growing more food or different foods makes more sense or where actually growing more food isn't the solution to nutrition. It's more complicated than that. At a community level, what kind of services the community can access as it relates to health, agriculture, and nutrition. Also, what markets are in place and what those markets um, provide to the, those populations. When you have that kind of data and that kind of research being done, then you are likely not to make uh, mistakes while making the best of decisions. We're talking about a lab that's got tremendous expertise in a whole lot of different areas. And so we find ourselves able to make connections between agriculture and nutrition that would be very difficult to make otherwise. Well, we look at indicators of agricultural production and land ownership, um, animal ownership, and income and expenditure, but then also at the individual level looking at nutritional status of moms and their kids as well as what they eat. The underlying factors that cause malnutrition can be easily distilled out of this kind of analysis. The purpose is to generate information to inform government policy and programming in the, in the area of nutrition. We've invested heavily in ensuring that um, government counterparts are, are part of the work on an ongoing basis. With the, the right tools, collaboration, and a true collaboration, where partner to partner, equal to equal, is really expressing itself in some uh, phenomenal policies and programs that are now being put into place. Whenever we present these results to policymakers and other actors, uh, they get really interested and uh, they see the kind of uh, results that they have not been able to see somewhere else. The translation from science into policy action is a hallmark of the Innovation Lab and it's something that we, we are very proud of and want to uh, enhance in the next five years. It's institutional capacity building, community capacity building, advocacy capacity, political will, which can be developed. So the vision is uh, we've, we've invested heavily in uh, the, the framework for doing good solid research that cuts across different disciplines in different countries. Now let's use that to its best advantage to answer a, a whole host of key questions. From what we have documented and found in the first five years, we can now build on that, leverage the new resources in a way they think is going to make a phenomenal difference for developing country policies and programs. Thanks to the Nutrition Innovation Lab for your outstanding work. Mm -hmm.